Good morning, and welcome to Living Bread Radio's Liturgy of the Word. Today is Tuesday, March 27th, the Tuesday of Holy Week. Today's readings are from the book of the prophet Isaiah, chapter 49, Psalm 71, and from the Gospel of John, chapter 13. Today's reflection is from Father Anthony Simone from St. Sebastian Parish in Akron, Ohio. And now, in communion with the Church throughout the world, let us lift up our hearts to the Lord in prayer and song with Liturgy of the Word. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Hear me, O islands. Listen, O distant peoples. The Lord called me from birth. From my mother's womb he gave me my name. He made of me a sharp-edged sword and concealed me in the shadow of his arm. He made me a polished arrow. In his quiver he hid me. You are my servant, he said to me, Israel, through whom I show my glory. Though I thought I had toiled in vain and for nothing, uselessly spent my strength. Yet my reward is with the Lord, my recompense is with my God. For now the Lord has spoken, who formed me as his servant from the womb, that Jacob may be brought back to him and Israel gathered to him. And I am made glorious in the sight of the Lord, and my God is now my strength. It is too little, he says, for you to be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and restore the survivors of Israel. I will make you a light to the nations that my salvation may reach to the ends of the earth. The Word of the Lord. Justice, rescue me and deliver me. Incline your ear to me and save me. Give me safety, for you are my rock and my fortress. O my God, rescue me from the hand of the wicked. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Reclining at table with his disciples, Jesus was deeply troubled and testified, Amen, amen, I say to you, one of you will betray me. The disciples looked at one another, at a loss as to whom he meant. 
One of his disciples, the one whom Jesus loved, was reclining at Jesus' side. So Simon Peter nodded to him to find out whom he meant. He leaned back against Jesus' chest and said to him, Master, who is it? Jesus answered, It is the one to whom I hand the morsel after I have dipped it. So he dipped the morsel and took it and handed it to Judas, son of Simon the Iscariot. After Judas took the morsel, Satan entered him. So Jesus said to him, What you are going to do, do quickly. Now none of those reclining at table realized why he had said this to him. Some thought that since Judas kept the money bag, Jesus had told him, Buy what we need for the feast, or to give something to the poor. So Judas took the morsel and left at once, and it was night. When he had left, Jesus said, Now is the Son of Man glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself, and he will glorify him at once. My children, I will be with you only a little while longer. You will look for me, and as I told the Jews, where I go, you cannot come. So now I say it to you. Simon Peter said to him, Master, where are you going? Jesus answered him, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, though you will follow later. Peter said to him, Master, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for you. Jesus answered him, Will you lay down your life for me? Amen, amen, I say to you, the cock will not crow before you deny me three times. The Gospel of the Lord. And now the Bread of Life, a reflection on today's Mass readings by Father Anthony Simone from St. Sebastian Parish in Akron, Ohio. So in the Gospel reading today is the... um, we keep on uh, diving into the Last Supper. And um, Jesus is telling the disciples that he was deeply troubled. It says that, that one of my disciples will betray me. And notice their posture. You know, the disciple whom Jesus loved was hearing everything but reclining at Jesus' side. Kind of like just resting and listening really close. And then Peter, even better, Peter leans back against Jesus' chest. Kind of like against his chest kind of listening for his breath and, Lord, who's it? Who is it? Who's going to be? You know, just like a student that's, <laughs> that's leaning against his teacher's chest in like a bond of love. And then he says, it's the disciple who will dip the morsel in, the morsel of bread in the same time I do. Which means that Judas, he wasn't really listening. He wasn't really close. He was in his own head, kind of sitting back. Yes, in the company, but sitting back. And it was a moment of competition, right? The disciple that dips the bread in the same time I do, rather than watching Jesus and listening, but taking for himself at the same time Jesus was trying to give. So we might not mean to um, compete with Jesus, but just think about that. Just listen by his chest and breathe, breathe with him. We want to hear what he wants to say to us. For Living Bread Radio, this is Father Anthony Simone from St. Sebastian Church in Akron.
prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Prayer to St. Michael the Archangel St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our defense against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the heavenly hosts, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen. The Liturgy of the Word is a production of the Living Bread Radio Network in Canton, Ohio. For more information on this or any of our local programs, log on to livingbreadradio.com, where you can listen on demand or subscribe to any of our podcasts.